Hello! In this video, I want to show you how to create a ROS2 package using C and integrate the OpenCV library for computer vision. So, I will guide you through the steps of creating the package with the correct dependencies and then also modifying the CMakeLit scripts to build your binaries correctly. I will also show you a minimal code example of one of such nodes. So let's start. Hello, I'm Roberto from The Construct and I will be using the online platform from The Construct. So if you want to follow along with this exercise, go to theconstructsim.com and um, log in or create an account if you don't have one, it's free. Let me log in and in the video description, you will see a um, link that if you click on it, it will show you an image like this. Um, and this will, if you click then on run, it will copy the files that I will show here on this video to your own um, account at the construct and you can follow along with this video, you can modify it as you want. So go ahead and do it. So first, uh, what I want to show you is how to check if you have OpenCV installed. So basically, um, it's a requirement to follow along. And um, here at uh, this, um, when you create a ROS check at, um, using this platform deconstruct, in this case, I'm using the Humble, ROS2 Humble distribution, you will already have OpenCV installed, but normally it is also installed when you when you install ROS2. So use this command here that I, that I just pasted here in the command um, in the shell, and if it prints a version number, it means that you already have OpenCV installed. So now let me show you how to create a package. So basically we have to CD into the ROS2 workspace source directory as usual. And then <coughs> we uh, type in the command for creating a package like, like ROS2 package create and you provide a name, in this case my OpenCV demo and you have to define these dependencies. So I will, uh, I'm including the RCLCPP package because I will work uh, with a ROS2 uh, node that uses C++ as, as programming language. Then we will include um, standard messages, sensor messages because we want to send images through the ROS2 network. CV bridge because we want to transform between the image format of uh, OpenCV and the image representation that ROS2 uses. Then we also include um, image transport, which will compress the images for sending them through the network and OpenCV itself, which will provide all the functionality that OpenCV has for performing uh, computer vision tasks. So let's just run this command here. And it created this package for us uh, called my OpenCV demo. Now let's go and um, create the, um, the source code. So I will be creating this file, minimal OpenCV ROS2 node. It is a CPP file. And then I will paste the code that is here at the left. And um, I will explain to you the main parts. So here using my code editor, I can go there and open this source code file. Yeah, it's empty, of course and paste this code in here. So let's quickly see what's doing. Well, uh, of course, um, I have these 
includes at the top. So I am including um, sensor messages, standard messages, uh, CV bridge, image transport, and OpenCV2. Um, if you have this um, red um, lines here showing, this, those are characters that I don't know why they are there, but they will mess when we um, when we compile the package. So I just am um, just removing s these characters that are that do not show here. Okay, but let us go through the code. So I am creating this image minimal image publisher node, which inherits from the um, RCL CPP node object and um, well, creating a publisher and um, the topic is a random image and also I am creating a timer. So it will um, every certain period of time publish this image to the network. And well, the main, the main part is implemented here inside the timer callback. So I am creating this um, OpenCV mat object that I'm calling my image. I'm passing here the size. I want to create an image that is six, 640 times 480 pixels. And here I am creating a random array of colors or pixels that uh, are in the range between zero, which is black, completely black, and um, 255, which is uh, white. So in all three um, blue, green, red channels. And then um, I am transforming this image here using the CV bridge um, functionality to a ROS to um, sensor message image. So this sensor, this is defined here, this message, and I'm like um, assigning this, this image here, which is my OpenCV image, and I transform it with this method here, like the to image message. And finally, I will publish this message. So I am publishing an image, which is 640 times 480, with just random colors. And it will create these random colors every half a second, I think. So, and then I am logging to the screen and that's it. This is the, this is the um, usual main function when you create a ROS2 node. I create it as a shared um, object here and then I, then I call spin and that's it. That's it. This is a minimal example how, how you can use OpenCV with um, ROS2. But we still have to do some changes. I already also explained this here on the notebook. Uh, we need to make some minimal changes when we, in order to compile it, to create a binary. Because as usual, we need to create an executable when we work with C++. Sorry, this is not correct. You have to copy this here, and uh, which is basically a call to add executable. We are um, defining as a name minimal open CV ROS2 node. And inside the amend target dependency, we have to define the dependencies. This is our target, minimal open CV ROS2 node. And then the dependencies are RCL CPP, standard measures, test on messages, CV bridge, image transport, and open CV. And that's it. Basically, the other command is to install this binary to the location where ROS2 will find it. 
so let's close this and now all we we have to do now it's uh, compile it and uh, for that we will move to the root of our ROS2 workspace and run call com build on this package so now let me see what's um, There is an error with open um, with CMake lists. Oh, let me see what's saying. Comma uh, expect a comma and got unquoted argument. Line thirty one. Let's just inspect line 31. Uh, could be again one of those characters. So I just pressed uh, backspace and then created the new line. Let me save and uh, see if this is still a problem. So sorry about that, but uh, I don't know how here apparently there are uh, some some character which is hidden and um well i just deleted it now it worked so as the usual next step is to source the rust2 workspace um and now i can run it i can run this node and we can see what it does Basically, you can see it is publishing. I mean, it is printing to the console this log message uh, with the image. Oh, each time it uh, um, runs the callback, it increases one number. So let's inspect the um, ROS2 network to see if this topic is there. Yes, we can see the random image topic. So to see this image, I will use this uh, program image view. So basically, um, it's just to run image view, image view, and then we do a remapping to and specify the topic, um, which in this case is random underscore image. Let's run this. So if you see this error, which I had before, to just run it again. I don't know why it was now, it, it happened before, but you just run it again and, and you will see um, this window pop up, which are the graphical tools. And basically this is a window that shows the image. This is the image, the random numbers. And um, yeah, we have confirmed this works we are publishing an image to using OpenCV and ROS2. So as an extra, let's put some text in the image. So where would we put this text? Let me open the um, source code file. Basically here we are creating this uh, random pixels all over the image. And here we, we're all writing the message. So I think it should be here, just in between, before we um, populate the message. And after we generate these pixels all over the image, we will put these lines here. Basically, the important one is this one, this uh, function, put text, we define the image, the text we want to right on the image and um, here we have some helper variables to define text position, the font size, the color and the weight. Basically um, I want to show you that we can use uh, other OpenCV um, functions now that we are that we already implemented the OpenCV library 
with Rust. Um, we integrated it with Rust too. So um, we have to build again. It takes some time. So now we will run it and run our node to see the image if it's being published. You will see this screen here and there you go. We added some text to our image uh, with random pixels. Yes, that's, that's what I wanted to show you today. I hope you liked it, you learned something new. So if you like these videos, please give it a thumbs up and or share it with your friends or write a comment and um, hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye. The Rush2 Intermediate course covers how to create launch files for Rush2 using different formats, like for instance Python, XML or Yarn. You will also learn how to work with parameters in Rust2. The course also covers how to manage threading in Rust2 using executors or how to handle callbacks using the callback groups. You will also learn about a couple of very important concepts in Rust2 such as the quality of service and DDS. Finally, you will also learn how to work with managed nodes in Rust2. Start learning now!